6th, Texas legislature will get to work today in Austin. Our political reporter Jack Fink is there, and he found out a big challenge this session is how to increase public school funding while cutting rising property taxes. Good morning. State lawmakers are going to be sworn in today, and Governor Greg Abbott is going to address both the House and the Senate. This after lawmakers received good news about the budget yesterday. This is my first incoming Republican uh, State Senator Austin, Angela Paxton uh, believes lawmakers before. will tackle the top two priorities of reducing property taxes and increasing state money in public schools. I know that the tone that I see, the attitude um, that I'm seeing and that I just sense is really one of collaboration and of optimism. Some of that optimism came from Texas Comptroller Glenn Hager. He announced the state legislature will have more than $119 billion to spend during the next two-year budget, 8% more than the current two-year budget. And the rainy day fund, the state savings account, will amount to $15.4 billion by the end of the next two-year budget. Still, lawmakers say it will cost the state billions of dollars to reduce the amount of property taxes used to pay for schools. Since where is that money going to come, come from? Are we going to raise the gas tax? Are we, going to, are we going to eliminate other types of exemptions? Lawmakers also want to reduce and eventually do away with what's called Robin Hood, forcing property wealthy school district to give back millions of dollars a year to the state. With a disciplined approach over, over a decade or so, um, you know, we could eliminate Robin Hood altogether. Um, I think that's an important issue in our state. As the session begins, the House will vote on a new speaker, most likely Republican Dennis Bonin. He's already shown in many different ways uh, uh, that, that he's absolutely going to be a great listener. He has called us all. He has called me multiple times. He has texted me. He's a great communicator. Lawmakers have until Memorial Day weekend to hash out a new budget. At the state capitol in Austin, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.